is on now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, are you gonna you gonna put on the brothers too, or are you just gonna film that out there? Um, yeah, just out there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Hey, Shalom. Um, first off, we like to give all praise to Kal Halal. Yeah, it's a lot. Kal Halal. Yahweh. By Hashem. Yahweh Shai. By Hashem. Rakak Kodash. Hey, we'd like to say double honors to the apostles of GMS who have the 100% spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahashai in them. We'd like to say double honors to the Connecticut elders of GMS, our big brothers, and greetings and salutations to the brothers in this country and all over the world who are prophesying in the true name of what you people stupidly and ignorantly call God and see. Your true name is Yahweh by Hashem Yahashai, which is none other than the power of the nation of Israel which consists of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and anybody with descendants from those people on their father's side. Shalom to those who are scattered abroad. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwath. And here we are with, with uh, the beautiful Jersey brothers, or Jersey brothers intact. In <laughs> you know, but we in PA anyway. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, and we, you know, uh, dwelling with the brotherhood, you know, fellowshipping, um, and uh, we had a site over here, up in uh, PA, in, the, in, these, in these mountains over here, in the Pocono Mountains. And uh, we sitting here discussing, and we're looking at the view here, you know. And you can see everything over here, you know. All the parts of PA, even all the way down in the mountains down there in Jersey. So while we're discussing, we were, we were thinking about the Lord comeback. We are thinking about the scripture, Second, Second Ezra, the 13th chapter. And... Um, and what we discuss is that, damn, when we look out here, we see, we think about what Ezra's talked about when he received that vision, when he said that, wow, he, he looked around to see what, when he saw the comeback of the Lord, he said, wow, I, I went to go see what part of the earth was graven or, or carved up because there was, there was such, there was this big mass chariot, big, ma mm. big mass thing that Ooh. was, that was in the, in the, in the, in the air that the Lord was upon. So it was so big. That Ezra thought it was a piece of the earth, yeah. <laughs> you know, but it wasn't. So he looked like we're looking now. There was no earth mi missing. It was it was the chariot of the of the heavenly Father upon his upon his son Yahushai, yeah. you know. So that's what we're gonna go into, man. And again, when when we when you see this view, man, the Lord's chariot. Just imagine a, a man on top of the <laughs> that man well down there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot, but you know, we're talking about the Lord's gonna come back in it. In that's why the scriptures say, "All eyes shall see." Mm. Okay, come Okay, Revelation chapter one. Yeah, your brothers get you know, Revelation chapter one verse seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. That's right. And after this, we'll get uh, second Ezra's thirteen. But um, again, Salak. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. That's right. Uh, get that precept and Baba Kasha real quick. And um, was that Psalms uh, one ten or one eleven? Mm, yep. Uh, with clouds. I forget where that one oh, is. Oh, so like, 104 and 3. 104, okay, it's so like, Yeah. Behold, he cometh with clouds, uh -huh. and every eye shall see him. Yeah, this is the book of Revelation. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And what verse is that? Verse 7. Verse 7, okay. See, the Lord didn't waste no time in the book, book of Revelation to tell you to come back in the description of our Lord. Or that's why the book of Revelations means to what reveal. Okay, so the Lord revealed, the Most High revealed his son, what he looks like in the first chapter. And told me what he's going to come back for is that he he's going to come back for the ones who pierced him, okay? So the Lord is telling you right right away in the first chapter what the deal is. One more time. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Yeah. So behold means to look. He cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. We're going to prove what the clouds are real quick. Yep. This is uh, Psalms 104 and 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Mm -hmm. Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Maketh his clouds his what? His chariot. Mm -hmm. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? You got it, brother. The con, and that describes exactly what the uh, what the clouds are. All right, and that's what Ezra saw, which we're going to eventually get into in Second Ezra. Those clouds are those chariots, which the world ignorantly calls UFOs or IFO. You know, we call them IFOs, identical flying objects. All right, because those are our brothers on those chariots. Okay. And if I, if I may add, like I said, you make the beam is, uh, the beams of the wall, his chambers, where well, your chambers is like, uh, like they call it the bed chambers where you sleep. Mm -hmm. So going show you that the Lord, that, that the heavens is belongs to the Lord's man. Right. You know, that's where he dwells at within the uh, spirit world. So that's why, you know, in Obadiah, how it says, uh, when Esau shall, um, 
uh, go up into the heavens, then shall he be cast down. Because now you up in the Lord's face, man. Right. You know, he don't want to see you, man. <laughs> All right. You, you, you do it. It's bad enough that you're destroying the earth. But That's now right. you up in the Lord's face. You got the nerve to put space junk in the earth. Yeah. The Lord going to tear your ass up, man. Right. A lot of people try and act so tough, sound so hard. Man, you how about Shem Al Shai is who you need to fear, bro. That's and when you how about. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, when you how about Shem Al Shai getting handed to you, that's it. Yeah, because when you describe it, I'm thinking about the radiation belt, you know, that the, the Lord made it where, you know, not uh, nobody's supposed to leave this planet Earth, man. That's why the whole, if you do the research, you know, the whole moon landing is all total BS, man. You can laugh all you want out there, but the, you can't, ex the only satellites, no humans can escape the radiation belt or this planet, man. There's no going to Mars or the moon and all that crap. That's Esau's delusional fantasy, man. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah I got a script, quick piece, uh, piece of go. gold with what you were saying. This is Psalms 115 and 16. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's. Mm -hmm. But the earth have he given to the children of men. Mm -hmm. You, know, so you got it, bro. Hey, that's plain, you know. Basically, <laughs> like the brother was, was going into this. You know what I'm saying? This is your realm for now, you know. But the Lord is going to crack them, them skies and meet you in your realm and fuck your shit up, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, that, and that's just the uh, beginning because uh, Yahweh Shai mentioned how there's uh, many mansions, man. Yeah. You know? Mm. And uh, he's preparing the kingdom for us. And within the kingdom is going to be these other planets. Yeah. So just imagine that when we, after after a year's journey or something, we touch back down on Earth, man. Like, mm -hmm. damn, that was crazy. And this is the power that Esau wishes that his bitch ass could have, man. That's right. But that's right. not for you. That's not your blessing, man. That's our blessing, man. We're going to be right. venturing out. Then we're going to touch back down on the Earth for the Passover. Yeah. Because we have to come down to the Earth for uh, three holy days, man. The Passover being one of them. Mm -hmm. We're going to be out here exploring these different planets, man. It's going to be beautiful, man. J just to back you up, brother. Uh, yeah, man. Cause um, why? Because you know that that will evolve. Basically, what we're what we're gonna be or what we are, we're intergalactic. We're an intergalactic species, you know. Mm. Meaning that we can go. We're, we're gonna be conquering the uh, uh, the universe, but within the universe, there's what galaxies, you know, mm -hmm. galaxies, and within galaxies, there's freaking. I mean, come on, man. To get across one galaxy to another, I mean, it could be a hundred a million light years. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> another galaxy could be two hundred million light years. To get to this one is a two billion light years, so this is the the power. So you would have to be live forever to experience to travel in that way. Okay. So that's why we're we're gonna live forever. So that amount of time I see in like twenty minutes to travel, or no matter, we can do anything. We can travel through loopholes. Mm. The universe is ours, man. That's right. That's and right. You, you the only the way you can experience that is you doing slavery in these other planets. <laughs> well, if we want you to do it there, you know, it won't it won't be nothing good. But anyway, it's a lot. Brothers have something else. Oh, nice. Okay, back Who's, to Revelation. Okay, then we'll go to the, um, Ezra thirteen. Come. Back mm. in uh, Revelation one and seven. Behold, he comes with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Yeah. So we just proved that what the clouds are, and they are they are the chariots of the Heavenly Father, the so-called UFOs. Okay, and it tells you that in the book of Acts, the first chapter, like one and nine, one and seven, that the angels stood uh, by the disciples when the Lord got beamed up, or or got taken to the cloud. It tells you the, the same cloud in Acts. And it said, why do you look, why do you disciples look dismayed? The same way the Lord, you see him go up into the cloud, it just say he's going to come back in like manner. He's going to come back the same way. So we just proved to you with two scriptures in Acts 1 and 9 and 1 and 7 and, and what the brother brought out in Psalms 104 and 3, that the clouds in Revelation is talking about not actual clouds that you see, but it's talking about the what you call so-called UFOs. The same UFOs your government been lying to you about mm -hmm. and now are admitting that they exist. Which Trump, right. with his administration, just brought out what the the, the space force, mm -hmm. you know. So, you guys mock and make jokes, but look, this is real, okay? Your government just acknowledged the UFOs. They're not gonna tell you what's in them, but it's coming out that they're true. They're not. They're not fake. And guess what? So that would mean that the Bible's true, man, because the Bible's been talking about a uh, UFO cloud, but they don't call them UFOs clouds. Well, well, it's identified to the people of the Lord. That's why. That's right. It, it's not we're not confused about it. Your dumb ass is confused about it, man. Right. You know? So we just proved that the clouds are the chariots. So that's why again we gotta, you know, it we're being repetitive, but we we putting that we putting a point in through the spirit. So one more time again. Behold, he come with clouds, and every eye shall see him, mm -hmm. and they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, mm. even so Amun. That's mm. right, even so to what? And that's and amen means basically let it be, okay? And that's what's gonna ha that's what's gonna be. 
Yep. It's already done. So the Lord's going to come back. All eyes shall see him. We're going to read the scripture, what we're talking about. Okay. He's going to come back from the ones who pierced him. We showed you that reincarnation is real because we uh, we shouldn't have to explain that the people that have pierced him, they're not living today. Okay. So they would have to be reincarnated for for the most high, excuse me, Yahweh Shai, through the power of the most high to go after them first. That's the first thing he's going to do. Mm. And, and, you know, go after the ones who pierced him. Number one, that's the first thing. Okay. Mm. Because remember what happened to him when on cross, he was pierced in the side, which is also prophecy because usually how they would check to see if you were dead or kill you, they'd break your legs. Mm. You know, if you were being crucified in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the, in the Roman era, the Roman that time period. But see, prophecy said that, which proves he was a perfect sacrifice, mm -hmm. a perfect break, lamb. They didn't, he didn't break him. They didn't break his bones. Mm -hmm. So they had to. They said, "Look, he's already dead. Or you don't gotta, you don't gotta do that. Let's just stab him to see if he's alive or not." You know, and that's what they did. So they're gonna pay. The Lord's gonna come back for them. See, the Book of Revelation just pointed that out. Okay, and mm -hmm. all's eyes shall see him. So we're about to read, uh, uh, you know, as Second Exodus thirteen. Huh. That was it, bro. Yeah, I was in. Okay. Line. Oh, sorry, Doc. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Second Ezra chapter 13, mm -hmm. verse 1. And mm -hmm. it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream of by night. Mm -hmm. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. Mm -hmm. And I, <laughs> man, yeah. now uh, imagine, like, look at this great view, okay? Now imagine, now Ezra is getting this vision, he's seeing it. You know, visions can be like living, breathing, and you know, you can live and breathe and you can experience the vision, you know? Yeah. So he, he experienced it, and he, he saw the waves of the sea. He saw the sea, and he saw the waves of the sea roaring. Why? Because something was immensely big, moving the waves of the ocean. Yeah. Okay, one more time. So that. Huh. It says, And lo, there arose a wind from the sea mm -hmm. that it moved all the waves thereof. Mm -hmm. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed mm. strong with the thousands of heaven. Yeah, and that's talking about the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai said, right, you see? Man, I'm just, even just thinking about it right now. Mm. It's like, wow, you think it was an accident the Lord said that? Right before he got crucified? He said what to the Pont Pontius Pilate? He said, don't you know I could call 12 legions, legions of angels mm. to right, fight right, for right, me? Right. Because he was talking about that. what's, what's actually going to happen. He is going to bring mm. legions of angels with him because a legion of an army... It can be 5,000 to 15,000, right? Now, so when 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 he says that, read, read that one more time. Yep. Says, verse 3, And I beheld, and lo, that that man waxed strong with, mm -hmm. with the thousands of heaven. With thousands of heaven. Now, part you could, you could check you could check this in Maccabees or any military kind of literature. Uh, 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 an army is doesn't consist of just foot soldiers, you know. Mm -hmm. Its army consists of foot soldiers and also like what they're riding on, like the horse, the cavalry, like the horse, yeah. uh, the cavalry. So that's counted. So if you read Mag Maccabees, I'll bring it to the point real quick. I'll bring it home. But just to say, if you read Maccabees, when when the when the, when, the, when our people Israel was facing other heathen nations, they would count the man and the horse. So if it was, let's say, 5,000 men on foot then, and then 5,000 horsemen, yeah. they will count the, the men on foot and then they'll count the men and then they count the horse too. Mm -hmm. That's part of the army, right. you know? So what I'm saying is that the part of the Lord's army are the chariots. Not only are the angels part of the Lord's army because he is the Lord of Sabaoth. Mm -hmm. Lord of Sabaoth means Lord of armies. The Lord is the, the general. He's the Lord of armies. He's the Lord of hosts. So what is he a host of? The whole entire army of Israel, that Michael the Archangel, the 144,000. Yeah. Mm. He already has the soldiers here on earth, the POWs. And then he has what? He has the angels he's going to come back with. And the chariots. The chariots are part of the army. So mm -hmm. that's why when we that's why he said to Pontius Pilate, he said, Well, don't you know if if my kingdom will this world, my servants would fight. And he said, um, that uh, what else did he say? He said that uh don't you know I could call, what, 12 legions of angels mm -hmm. to fight for me? Those legions of angels we're talking about is the chariots as well. The angels, Michael Dark Angel, like it says in Daniels 12 and 1, he's going to be back here. And then what? The chariots, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to explain that. So, And if, if I may add, yeah. too, like, uh, 
he said he could send 12 legions of angels. Now, we all know it only takes one angel to fuck right. people up, man. That's right, brother. You know? Because uh, for one, just look at the chariot. Look at all these different uh, fighter jets that try and chase the chariots, and the chariots make them look stupid. Yeah. <laughs> and then for another example, look at uh, with King David. When King David had messed up, the uh, uh, he had got three choices for the consequences of his actions, yeah. man. And uh, I forget the exact three, but one of them was like a pestilence. And uh, yeah. so the angel was uh, pretty much smiting Israel to where you how about my shot to tell the angel to chill out. Yeah. So look how many people one angel was just killing, man, nonstop good. going in yeah. until the Lord literally had to tell him, all right, that's enough. Yeah. So here it is. The Lord, the Lord said he could send 12 legions when all it takes is one. That's now, right. guess what? The scriptures say that we're going to judge those angels, man. We're off of, uh, meaning what? We're going to rule over them. We're going to be over them. The scriptures say, no, you're not, that you shall judge angels, man. Mm -hmm. See that? So we, through Spring Pai Yalbash Mashai, we be those men. We're going to be uh, uh, men you don't want to fuck with, man. You know, we're going to be some bad dudes, man, through the spirit of the Lord. Because Yahweh Shai said that we're joint heirs and he wants to be glorified with us, man. We're not even worthy, man. But because Yahweh Shai Shai loves us so much, and he said, not one of them shall be plucked out of my hand. He is going to allow us to inherit the kingdom with him, man. You know, and allow us to have power, man, and to be glorified with him after he gets his glory, man. So we some bad dudes, man. So keep that in mind when uh, uh, you catching hell from your woman. Or when you're catching hell from two-thirds. Or when you're feeling low, when you're feeling weak. Remember, you a bad dude, man. Isaiah 49 mentions how, uh, your, uh, 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 though Israel be not gathered together, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord. Because we teach in these scriptures, man. Now, that's not to become like uh, Alizé and try and get your own reality TV show, your own album, your own documentary to get puffed up, to get prideful. That's not to say that. But to remain humble and to... You know, pick yourself up when need be, man. You know, keep the balance, man. But we also, uh, 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 you know, going to be bad dudes, man, if we those men, but also remain humble. That's even more important, man. I got a quick one based upon uh, one angel. This is uh, 2 Kings 19 and 34. For I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. Because this is when you had the king Sennacherib talking shit against, you know what I'm saying, um, Israel. That he would take our people down just as he did upon every other great um, army, right? So it says, and it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord, Yahweh, went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians a hundred and four score and five thousand. Mm. And when they arose early in the Ooh. morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. Mm. God, so that's a hundred eighty-five thousand men one angel killed. Damn, damn yeah. Army yeah. I mean, man. Mm. <laughs> Omni Man style, <laughs> man. He took your face and just crush it. Next, uh, with his yeah. bare hands. <laughs> yeah. God, God. Um, back in Second Ezra chapter thirteen, uh, verse uh, uh, verse three, and I beheld and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, and when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him, and whensoever. The voice went out of his mouth. All they burned that heard his voice, mm -hmm. like as the earth faileth when it feeleth the fire. And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of uh, out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. And that's all the armies. That's right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, matter of fact, I think. It was Ronald Reagan, President Ronald Reagan. Mm -hmm. There's an accord that still exists to this very day between Russia, China, the United States, all, all these enemies that if there's a foreign entity that comes from uh, um, from space, all right, we're, we're going to let bygones be bygones and, and, and join together and fight against that, mm -hmm. that, that force. Mm -hmm. So that's what they're going to do um, 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 when the Lord shows up. The Lord's going to uh, give them a little bit of... Because, you know, the Lord loves the... the, the, the the drama, you know, the Lord isn't going to show up and everybody lay down their weapons and, and bow down to him. He wants to make it interesting. He's you know? a man of war. That's, right. that's why the scriptures say there's going to be a war in heaven. And, you know, Esau is going to be fighting back, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. They were afraid yesterday to fight. We'll read that. But it says, um, <clears throat> after this, I beheld verse five. And after this, I beheld and lo, oh, uh, yep, I, I read that one verse six, but I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. Again? 
but I beheld and lo. Which beheld means to look, and which we're, which we're looking at here, which we're, we're, we, you know, little room we got the Spirit of the Lord to start to show about. It's straight from the scripture, what we're thinking about, we came up here. Mm -hmm. Yep. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mo a great mountain and flew upon it. Mm -hmm. But I would have seen the region or place where where out the hill was graven, and I could not. Yeah. So what as was just described, what we talked about that again, like what you see before you is what basically what he saw, and he, when he when he looked to see when he saw the Lord's chariots. The angels and all, and that's great big chat that, that the Lord was on, and all the destruction happening. It was so huge. He went to go see around to see what what part of the earth was missing. What part? What, like, was there a big mountain, a big part of earth that was literally cut off, you know, or graven? Right. But again, he said he looked around. He could see. He didn't see. He didn't see that. He didn't see like not one part of, part of earth that was missing. Everything was basically still intact, you know. So what he was flying on was a was a mighty big chariot. You know, it was a mighty big. A so-called UFO, you call them, you know. So long. I just want to make a quick point. You could read that uh, verse five again as well. Okay, like, verse five. Should do the man that came out to see. And af and after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men, out of number, from the four winds of of the heaven, to subdue the man that came out of the sea. And basically, that means that the Lord came out of the heavens because. The sea, like you have the firmament, which I'm just read real quick. Mm, uh, right, Genesis right. one and nine, and God said, "Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together." So you have the firmament, which is a you know a form of waters, and then you have the sky, you know, which is a form of water. So right. know, it's going to prove that's that right. the Lord came out of the sky. Yeah, and that's a good point because um, and the third and the third heaven is here on earth because this is Esau's heaven, mm -hmm. you know, it's his kingdom, and this is considered his heaven, and that's where all from the four corners of the earth, that's where they all came from. You know, so, so yeah, you got the firmament, the sky, um, the outer space, you have the sky, and then you have the kingdoms on the earth, which are the um, the third heaven. And he's doing a, a terrible job, you know, uh, being a ruler over the planet earth. Like, look at all this fucking land, man. And Esau took him out, the earth is overly populated. Right. Are you we're, kidding me? We're just looking at one part of it. Yeah, get to work. Look at all this land. You could grow stuff in here, and you could have plenty of uh, uh, food short. But really, that's from the Lord, man, you know? But uh, Esau is as death. He's pro-death, not pro-life. You know, if you really cared about people, you'd get to work in this land, bro. You plant some some orange trees, man, some uh, uh, apple trees, whatever, man. You know, whatever type of fruit. You plant it in here, you'll grow it. You'll be able to uh, uh, feed all these people, man. Yeah, the, 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 it's good. most I said the food, he made the, 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 the land to be made, what, to yield us increase for the, for the people, to be in abundance, you know. So there's there's food in abundance here on earth, man. But Esau, you know, coffers, you know, uh, what's the word? Um, covets it, you know, keeps steal steals the minerals from himself. <laughs> and they they say that the uh, they said I don't know, I mean I think it's true, but they say what some out there saying that what most people like able people on earth they can they can fit in the whole state of Texas. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. From that effect. Yep. Yeah. So that whole overpopulated bullshit is bullshit. You know, like BS. Because look look at this look at this mess right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just looking at it right now. I'm you probably can fit one billion people of what yeah. you see right here. Like, look at this last this landmass right here. Even at that uh, crossings, which is this building right ahead, it'd be like probably like ten thousand people in there, man. Yeah. Packed up like sardines, trying to get in the fucking bullshit Nike store. You know, so imagine spread across this whole land. You could probably fit a billion people, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, you have, you know, with brothers used to camp in a park or whatever. You will have a park, ten acres of park, right next to the hood. Like how to you know? So your yeah. brother said you can't say yeah. you pack then you pack this thing. Yeah, you know that's right. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Because he wants us to continuously sin. Yeah. You know when you live packed in like that, that breeds forth dirt adultery. It breeds forth pride through uh, so-called gang banging. You know this uh, project versus that projects. Well, no, my project is where I'm from is better than shit. You know, but that's what uh, Esau wants, man. Builds forth uh, murder, selling drugs to try and get out of that situation. You know that's their excuse. So Esau's doing all this uh, by design to continuously get us to sin, but that's all right. The Mosai doesn't care anymore. He only he only needs his elect. Yeah, because it says uh, what woe woe means destruction. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, it says woe means destruction, and, and the scriptures say woe unto you that live house to house. So that's why Esau packs right. on top of each other because he wants us to be destroyed. That's right. Um, do you want to go back a second? Oh, uh, you can read that. You can you read that last part. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, second Ezra chapter. 
uh, 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 13 verse uh, 7 mm -hmm. but I would have seen the region or place where out the hill was graven and I could not mm -hmm. and after this I beheld and lo all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid and yet there's fight yeah so like the brother mentioned before uh, that what that those people that that were taken up to subdue the Lord were are representing the other heathen nations all the world's armies like the brother mentioned before with Reagan and all these in the 80s you know they made it they made a basically a pact within these governments to say if we were to get attacked or invaded uh, by a foreign entity whatever you want to call it that we would get together and fight against it okay but we all know that the Bible that foreign entity is Yahweh Shai Yahweh by Shemari Shai and the angels Michael our angel and all the angels of the heavens coming here on earth man with our Lord to claim this to claim uh, this planet as 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 ours as his yeah. and us being joint heir with him yeah. you know establishing nation of israel and a lord just like it says in the prayer we we're just talking about earlier you know um what does it say in the prayer that um thy our father in heaven and hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done as it is in heaven um and on earth i'm not saying barbatim but just all the universe is in order under the spirit of Yahweh Shemashai, except this planet, man. Mm. This is why the, the wicked's ruling. Mm. So this is the last frontier, and this is the ceremony of the Lord when he comes back and establishes the kingdom, you know, and, 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 and his crown. But, um, um, but I'm sorry. I'll read it again, verse mm -hmm. 8. Oh, me, I, I real quick, how special he, he was afraid, yet there's fight. Yeah, that reminds yeah, me yeah. of that show on uh, MTV, Bully, Bully Beatdown, mm -hmm. you know? Where a dude think he was so bad, he was bullying the neighborhood, and then they they put him on bully beatdown, and he fights an MMA fighter, and gets his fucking ass whipped, man, because he thinks he's such a bad a hot shot, such a bad dude. Well, the Lord is coming to do bully beatdown on Esau, man. You know he's got his military, all right. He wants to uh chip the whole planet Earth. You know he wants to he wants to uh uh touch touch the prophets and do us harm. Yeah. He imagined mischief against us. Yep. It's scripture say let us. Examine him with torture to see if his words be true. You know, he wants to jack us up. He wants to destroy the Lord's people. He's acting like such a damn bully, right? He's tearing down these other uh, forces to build forth in order so that he could build factories and stuff so that he can get extra money in his pocket. Yeah. He's acting like such a bully, right? Well, now you got to do bully beatdown, man. Don't be scared now because them bullies and shit, they'll be acting scared. Nah, don't be scared now. When the Lord comes, don't be scared now, nigga. You wanted to fuck us up, right? You wanted to do us harm, right? Well, now guess what Yahweh Bashmashah gonna do to you? He gonna tear your ass up, man. Thousand years of slave. Hey, man, can I add? Um, I remember being very, very young and uh, having problems with somebody, like not even 10 years old, man. I had an older cousin come through and defend me and beat this dude the fuck up. It was way better than taking vengeance upon myself because you know that he could never come back to you. You know that you're secure that, yeah. you know, this person that defended you, he could never touch this dude. He could never come back. When you take vengeance upon yourself, Jake could always come back, shoot you down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pull back up, I'll spin the block. When somebody else comes to feed, he ain't never going to come that's back. Right. Again, that's right. So yeah, that's why Yahweh Shai said that vengeance is mine. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, that's right. That's right. That's right, brother. And you sitting there like, hey, hey, because you yeah, a kid. Exactly. You know that's what I'm saying? I've been through that. That's my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's beautiful, brother, because we're going to say that's our Lord. That's right. We're going to say that's our Lord whipping your ass. That's your how about you, that's right. Shai, man. Power, man. You know, now you, you don't fuck with us. Now you're gonna, you got to deal with Yahweh Shai, man. That's mm. probably how it, man. Whew. And that's that's what it's about. Our big brother's coming, man. That's right. Mm. And he's going to, you know, he's going to decimate you Edomites, man. Mm. Yeah. You know? Quick precept, mm -hmm. Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord mm. will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Yeah, man. The Lord's pissed off, man. Because right now, the Lord came as a lamb. You know, he let you spit on him, let you punched on him. Okay? Remember, he remembers that. And we're like the Lord. And we, we know how we are when we get our, in other ways upset. Imagine we get jumped or whatever happens. The case is we want to go back and not yeah. like that dude. Yeah. What do you think? The, he's, 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 mm. we are, we're our carbon copy of our Lord. He's greater than us. So how, 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 how much rage and anger do, do you think he has? Mm. Most and foremost that he, them depicting the most high the way they did Esau. So you, you know, when somebody, you know, that whole thing with don't talk about my mama, don't talk about my dad. First of all, you talk about our heavenly Father. You 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 disgraced him as putting him as having leprosy. You don't think Yahweh Shai is pissed off at that? Right, right. And then Yahweh Shai, what you doing to his his brothers, the elect? That's right, that's right. 
you know what happens when, just like you just said. You know, you have a little brother. Uh, someone look, look at your, your little brother wrong. You're ready to knock his head off mm -hmm. three ways. Mm -hmm. be coming to you too, telling you about his problems. Yeah. To kill someone. Yeah. You know what I mean? They don't even. Sometimes we have a little f three or four year old. They even they even get looked at the wrong way. You ready to go? You know. Mm -hmm. So let alone what the hell, look what you did to the children of Israel. Mm. So what do you think Yahweh Shah is going to do? Well, so that's the wrath that we're reading about. The destruction what we're reading about is because he has that anger and also that righteous anger to destroy the wicked, right? And to set up the nation of Israel. Yeah, because uh, sometimes you, you'll you black out, man. Wanting to beat the hell out of somebody for uh, uh, messing with your little brother or something, man. So yeah, he, next thing you know, you wake up, you in jail or something. You know, but through the yeah. spring party, Yahweh Shah, he got us covered. So how much more you have with Shai, man? Yeah, full, full, yeah, He's going to be able to black out, man. Yeah. He's going to be able to black out and do as he please, man. Righteous indignation. That's right. Because you're, you're the Most High, you Howard said, man, when I was by myself, who gave me counsel? Yeah. You know, nobody could give you Howard counsel and tell him, yo, look, you know, you are uh, going off. right? He don't answer to nobody, man. So when he tears your ass up, there's no consequences, man. Yeah. So that's why we in we in order, you know, because we know we tear somebody else up. Now we got to go to jail. You know, and go through this bullshit and that bullshit, man. And we can't just fly off the hinge, man. See, yeah, we yeah. Un, we in order with the spirit, you know. Because remember, right. Apostle Paul said he would rather just be in the spirit world. Fuck it. Just let me be in the spirit world, Lord. But the, uh, uh, he said, no, it's more need for you to be here. So how much more us to go to jail? Mm -hmm. It's more needful for us to be in his ministry. It's like, I, I just read that precept you just quoted. It's Isaiah 63 and 3. I have tried the wine press alone, and my people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury and the blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and I will stain all my raiment for the day of vengeance is in my heart and the year of my redeem is come. Whew. Got it, brother. Hey, the Lord, the Lord is pissed off, man. It's like uh, others just said, man, you, you uh, messing with the Lord's uh, brother, man, his brothers and his sisters, man. The Lord going to seek vengeance on your ass, man. Yeah. Right. The Lord said that vengeance burneth in his heart, man. That's right. Mm. The Lord's waiting. The Lord, the Lord and the angels like, yo, Lord, how, how much longer? Mm. How much longer? Yeah. And you see the time speeding right. up, speeding That's up right. by what? Yep. That's the right. prayers that are going on from the heavens. That's right. And the prayers that are going on from That's the earth right, from the brothers, man. Yep. It's the speeding Lord, up. Man, the Lord is speeding these things up, man. You, don't, you think mm. the Lord want to see his brothers getting... Uh, uh, for real? Uh, what you what you call a uh, damn uh, punching bag over the damn time? Come. The Lord, you don't see, you don't think the Lord hears our, our cries and our prayers and supplication mm. and, and the curse that we put upon these people. I was telling brother yesterday, man, all the curses that brothers put on these people for years and years and years is definitely going to manifest. That's, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's going to manifest now. right that's now right. in these right. last days, man. The Lord is tired of um. His brothers going through this shit, man. As, especially with brothers, you know, you go through some shit. You be like, no, I'm gonna go through this. It's no problem. But when you see uh, that same shit happening to another brother, you be like, nah, man, I don't want to go through that. That's right. That's yeah. how the Lord. Yeah. Is right now, man. Yeah. yeah. Cause real. just to add real quick, get back uh, to the scripture as well, man. Uh, the Lord. Yeah. Here is like the the scripture that says that the Lord died for our, our sins of the elect. You know, first he died for his for his sins when he uh you know went off as a uh, Solomon. But he also died for the sins of uh, Israel, man. He's the only begotten that, that's worthy to uh, to do that and to take on that, you know? So here it is. He died for our sins. But then you think he's just going to let you beat up on us? Yo, the Lord loved us so much he died for us. Yeah. But he's just going to let you beat yeah. up on us. Yeah. You that's stupid, right. man. That's right. He going to fuck. Yo, he died for us, bro. Right. He straight up said, yo, yo, it is what it is. He died for us, man. But you will uh, think he's going to let you touch us? That's why I say you ain't going to be able to pluck none of them out of my hand, man. So all y'all niggas that wishing evil thoughts against us, y'all niggas is done, man. You brothers got a precept? Um, yeah, I got something real quick. Isaiah 42 and 14. I have long time holding my peace. Mm. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a, a travailing, travailing woman. woman. Mm. I will destroy and devour at, at once. once. Yeah, man. The, uh, I remember um, Apostle Ram Lobby used to always describe it, man. And... Um, he always is, and he just keeps continuing saying it that what when the Lord comes back, he's gonna come back with a shout, like it says in Thessalonians with the fourth chapter, you know. And did that shout is actually he's gonna cry out, he's gonna cry out. I think there's actually a scripture on it, like cry out the name Esau. Mm. He's gonna say, you know, I shashua. You know, he's gonna actually scream. Mm. You know, the Lord's actually gonna scream. You're gonna hear his voice. Yeah. Like, like, oh my, God. like, uh, 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 yo, and people are gonna hear it. Wow. And um. And I could, I, you know, imagine too, because we have, we have that, we have that rage. You have that. We're, we're of yeah. the Lord. We're, we're of Him. We have our attributes, our ways, our style, whatever. It's of Yahweh Shai. So my point is, is like how He's gonna scream. I think about it too. 
Like, you know, when you get it, you know, yeah. you about to lose your temper or whatever, and you just, mm -hmm. ah, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's that's what that's what Yahweh Shai is gonna do. Mm. He's gonna he's gonna just let it out, man. He's gonna let out the full power, all his aggravations, the time up until now, especially when he came as Yahweh Shai. What happened to him? Come on, man. I I wouldn't be able to. I mean, for the for the sake of the Lord, Lord, when I will. But I'm just saying, I can even we can use camp example. Come on, man. Somebody spit at you at camp. You gonna want to, You gonna chase that dude down, man. Mm -hmm. Somebody fuck do something. At you you we ready to fuck him up, man. Right. You know. So it's not like, but Lord, the Lord took that. Yep. He took the spitting on, okay, spitting in his face. The Lord took him getting mocked, okay, like dying, and then you know they're like, uh, won't you get yourself down, Lord? Uh, save yourself yep. now with your powers. Mm. You, can you imagine? You know how you know how we are. We don't let people talk shit, shit against us in this world. And we, we, we settle it. And so he was, come on, all that the Lord had to take. So what do you think he's going to let out? And you know how it is. Let's say you get in a fight two days ago. You still angry, man. Yeah, oh, you right, still yeah. like, you still like in that, you know what I mean? It's been two days for Yahweh Shai. That There you go. Mm. Yeah, it's been two days for Yahweh Shai. So the Lord's still in that, he didn't, in that, in that hot mode, man. In that hot, hot anger mode. And he's about to get his revenge. This is what we're talking about, man. To us, it's 2,000 years. But to the Lord, it's only That's two right. days, man. That's right, man. In two days, he was up on the cross. Two days. And then he's witnessing all the shit that's happening yeah, to our yeah, people, yeah. man. And then the arrogancy of Esau, this damn devil. But see, that's how selfish America is. They don't care about the Lord. They care about, well, it was 2,000 years to me and that's it. You know? Yeah, they don't consider that's not yeah. Isaiah in the first chapter. Neither do they consider, man. Yeah, it wasn't me. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's an easy, easy way out. It wasn't me. Yeah. I was yeah. gonna say when you were talking about uh, the Lord screaming out Joshua, I was thinking about if you brothers ever watch Samurai Jack, man. Samurai Jack was like, ah, oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, every time he's going after him, so. Oh yeah. Same. Saying? Yeah, same thing, man. And that's what you do. You let out a shout, like when you. Yeah. When you. Cry. Yeah. There you, there you go. Actually, that's the script. The battle cry. Yeah. That actually gets the spirit. I think it says the scripture says a battle cry. So the Lord's gonna let up, and that's what it was. When we went to war, what do you do? You don't you don't just uh, quiet yourself in the war unless you're doing a stealth stealth mission. But the most part, when you go to war, you do an outcry. Ah, you know. Let me see your war face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> you know. When you do a battle cry, it um uh, uh boosts your morale of your troops also. That's yeah, right. In, yeah, in yeah. the art of war. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yo, and um, like when you read the scriptures, like when the Lord spoke to Apostle Paul. It was, you know what I'm saying? It was like lightning and thundering and things like yep. that. You know, when the Lord spoke with Moses, same thing, man. It wasn't like a yeah. like, pretty sight. Yeah. yeah. That was in uh, Omni-Man, too, with uh, Omni-Man's son. When he was uh, wrapped up, he was in that office, and he was wrapped up in that one guy, man, uh, shocking him with lightning, and he saw a dude, like, getting his face stomped out. And he was like, you guys are fucking dead! <laughs> he screamed that shit, and then he that gave him fucking power oh, to break out of that, man. Yeah. He's like, you guys are fucking dead! And he broke out that shit and started whipping their ass, man. Hey, we can be, the men are going to be doing the same thing. We fantasize about that. You know, we animated brothers up here, comic book brothers up here. And I was, I'm was i wearing a Wolverine shirt right now. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed <laughs> with X-Men. Why? Because we that's are right. those people. We are the X-Men. Right. We are those superpower, those people, because that's why we love them so much. Even Super to our age. So you want to laugh at us bringing them Omni-Man. Well, you about to see the real Omni-Man come back, man. You about, you about to see these real... So, so called fictional characters become real, and that's the 144,000. And the real Superman is Yahweh Shai, you know. That's right. So, you know, just to hone in, man, that that this is what we're coming into, man. You know, the great power and the glory of Yahweh Shai uh, upon, upon this earth. And Esau, you're going down, man. That's right. You know, you can do, you can do, you can kill us, you can kill our babies, our children, it don't matter. The Lord's gonna come back and still destroy your ass. You're still going to slavery, and we're still gonna be kings, we're still gonna be ruling. Mm. Mm, real shit. Yeah, peaceable. Yeah, last one. Um, Isaiah forty-two verse fifteen. I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up their herbs and dry up all their herbs, and I will make the rivers islands, and I will dry up the pools. Mm. You know, like this brother always brings out Habakkuk three. <laughs> What's that Habakkuk three? Right? Habakkuk three. Where, 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 where the, the Lord is going to destroy this place so bad the people are going to be like, damn Lord, were you mad at the dirt? Were you oh, mad yeah, at yeah. the rivers? <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> because hey, at the same yeah. time when the Lord comes yeah, to destroy yeah. Esau, yeah, yeah. he also got to cleanse the earth through yeah. fire. That's, that's right. right. That's yeah. Right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. You got you got pockets of um, uh, plastic, three of them I believe, in in the Atlantic and the um, Pacific Ocean that got to be cleaned up, man. That's right. Yeah. Besides the Texas. Yeah. yeah. Garbage islands. Garbage islands. Oh, this is gonna be a desert, bro. Yo, it, yeah. it's gonna be a desert, bro. Damn. I'll finish this. Oh, my bad. I'll dust this no. off. Uh, Isaiah 66 and 15. For, <laughs> for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Oh, um, five, uh, 5%. So, okay. last scriptures. Okay. Uh, uh, and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword would the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Woo! Uh, this uh, Psalms 33, it really coincides with what we read in second edges man literally this is literally the priest that coincides with that the psalms 33 <clears throat> in verse uh i'm gonna start at uh i'm gonna start at verse 8 psalms 33 and 8 coming with the lord coming his chariots man it says let the earth fear the lord let the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him man like we were talking about earlier we see this sight how uh ezra, now ezra thought that you know the earth was missing man he was just an awe about what was going on same thing's yeah. gonna happen when the lord comes back yeah. these people are gonna be all of him all of him man yeah all right, it says, let the earth fear the Lord, let the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. Mm. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. Yeah, no? that, I'm sorry, that counsel of the heathen to naught is that new world order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that counsel that these that these demons, that these little gutter rats actually mm -hmm. think they're gonna they're, they're gonna come to pass. You know, so just want to just want to explain that. Yeah, that council that they're gonna see, they're gonna come to know all these heathens are just trying to build that new world order. Mm -hmm. That's what we're in. We're inside of the new world order right now. That's right. Yeah. Some call it the, the you know what what we call it the COVID fifteen. I don't know. I'm gonna make up a name. <laughs> the combat eighteen. I'll just make up a name. But that's what this is. This is really the new world order. It's not what what you claim it is to be. It's nothing to that's do about it. That's right. That. We're inside a new world order right now, and it's already begun. You know, and they're already at their certain stage right now. And, and it's just going to escalate until they get to that point where they think they're going to accomplish it, like it says in uh, Job. Job and 20. But they're not. When they when he's about to fill mm -hmm. his belly, mm -hmm. yeah. then so sort of the sudden destruction come upon him. Mm -hmm. That with that that destruction, well, World War Three is going to be that. But World War Three, we need World War Three because it's prophesied that the Lord's going to interrupt World War Three. Right. That's what we were just reading in Second Exodus at the 13th. Right. That all the other countries that come together and try to fight is going to be is going to be interrupted by the Lord's comeback, which is sure. the World, World War Three. Right. You know, okay. um, so a part of that World War Three is what the New World Order. The New World Order is not the New, New World Order without World War Three, because ultimately, when you go into war, you go like look at the movie Nicolas Cage, Lord of uh, Lord of, uh, Lord of War, I believe. Lord of War. Yeah, Lord Lord um, Lord of the War, Lord, Lord of War. War. Yeah. Um, and um, basically, you know, wars is controlled by the by the international bankers. They control it, you know. So I'm. Oh, I was about to break out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll finish up. So anyway, World, World War Three has to happen, and and that proves that the and it's brewing now. We're in World War Three, and the Lord's gonna about to be here, man. That's why we in the year hastening the day of the Lord. That's right. And it's happening, man. Uh huh. Yeah. It says the Lord bringing counsel to heathen to naught. That new counsel, order. Yeah. That and and also like. That Valley Jehoshaphat, man, Yahweh Masha oh, You know right. what I'm saying? When all them heathens come around and try to go to war, they're gonna go with Yahweh Shah. It says, The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the device of the people of none effect, them guns, them tanks. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. That's mm. us. And the people who have chosen for his own inheritance. The Lord looketh from heaven, he beholdeth man. all the sons of men. From the place of his habitation, he looked upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashioned the hearts alike. He considered all their works. There is there is no king saved by the multitude of the host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. So it's not going to be shit you can do in the, uh, when the chariots come. A horse is a vain thing for safety. Neither is deliver any of his great strength. Behold, the Lord is upon all them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. All right. Oh yeah, that, well yeah, that's pretty much it, man. When the, when the chariots come, man, and Lord crap them clouds, it's gonna be no more say nothing, man. The Lord is gonna just rain on this earth, and His, and his righteousness is gonna be on the earth, 
And then the same thing with Jeremiah 1616, 16, man. Right now we're fishers, we're gonna become hunters. The Lord's gonna send all that battle cry, and we're gonna sick your ass, man. That the Lord commanded us to do so. So that's Lord, it, man. Lord, Lord. And with that, with that, I want to give all glory and honor and praises due unto Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Yahweh Double honesty, LG, mess with well. Sai Tasty Electron out there, push this word in truth shalom, and shalom. sincerity. All right. The Dua to Elvis for not only giving us 100% truth, but also 100% understanding, man. With that, we want to uh, uh, say the water. Shalom. 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 shalom.